the complete understanding that you guys have been shorthanded the last two games. Um, I guess what's been the biggest disappointment of the last two nights? Um, j just I think that um, I believe like even even though you're missing whatever five guys that those guys can collectively play together better than that right they can they can execute better they can they can defend better than that they can they can you know make those open shots like they can you know what I'm saying they can they can they were finding there was plenty of shots to step into and make in that game and just you know all of our guys that are you know for five one for eight one for one for six one for eight you know two for 21 from our best three shooters you know you got to play better than that when you're shorthanded you got to play better than that you got to shoot the ball better than that you got to finish better than that obviously it's, it's it's tough without joel this is an elite rim protector but uh with the jazz getting into the paint as much as they were and finishing up the basket i guess as you move forward i guess how do you stop like contain that without joel like points of the paint, things like that yeah well we definitely really good question because we gave up a ton of layups and a ton of dunks right um it's part of some of the stuff i've been talking about pre-game we're gonna have to figure out some better schemes just initially at the point of attack right with with you know maybe maybe it maybe it changes personnel wise when what we're doing out there but we certainly got to got to guard the ball better guard the pick and roll better challenge at the rim better even though even though you know you're undersized or you don't have great rim whatever it is right you got to figure it out yep the point from the paint issue, and it's more about like the matchup problems that, that the Jazz could pose on a given possession, or was it more like miscommunications could affect them? Um, it was probably a little bit of of both. I mean, listen, they they do schematically make you, um, you know, they stretch you with their size, right? Talked about that before the game a little bit. They they you know got a couple guys that can really uh, stretch your bigs out. Right and got to got to get back to them or you got to rotate to them a little better, um, but uh, but you know again it's probably a little bit of a little bit of we didn't execute the schemes we were running well enough or just like I said before we got to we got to take a look at look at finding some other ones yeah. The Jets had seventeen more turnovers than you guys. Mm. Fast break points were pretty even. Why do you think they were able to take advantage more transition opportunities? Yeah, uh, first of all, they got a whole bunch of I thought I thought long leak out buckets after we missed a lot of long threes. Right, like there was there was there was um, just not a good enough job of us getting back after you know we're taking a three and it doesn't go in. And again, I thought we lived a little bit in that. I thought we didn't. Once your three ball misses start piling up, you can't let that take your energy getting back in transition. I thought we let that happen a few times. Um, yeah, it's, we shot, you know, we got 104 shots to their 80. We turned them over 23 times. We didn't get enough out of it, right? We got one point, we got 24 turnovers and 24 points. That number's got to be closer to double that. So we didn't do a good enough job of scoring in transition either. To that, point, to that point, though, like, do you feel like you're in the fourth shooting with maybe like a, the second half of back to back and, and just maybe legs tired or things like that? Or the chance missed? Um, I don't know. Maybe, but I didn't. Listen, they were on a back to back, too. I know they didn't shoot it very well either. I don't think we had a lot of guys that didn't play a ton of minutes last night playing tonight, you know? off in a travel day, um, aside from obviously getting everybody healthy, what do you most hope to accomplish in the next couple of days? Um, we're going to get in there and it'll be a physical practice on Monday. Thanks, guys. Yeah.